Welcome everybody to UWA Wrestling Rampage. I'm Simon Bridlington and with me as always, Steve Morgan. Lovely to be here with you as ever. I can see your setting for the night. You've got your bread and dripping and your whip it beside you. You look very cozy there. And this music can mean one thing. It's Kerry Cabrero. And the foreign boxing makes a great insane fireman. He weighs an even 200 pounds. It's the flatliner, Gary Cabrero. Yes, there we see Kerry Cabrero there, master of the flatliner. I think this is going to be one heck of an evenly faced contest, Steve. But just remember how well Kerry Cabrero performed in that triple trouble match here a few weeks ago. Absolutely superb stuff. He's got plenty of blood and metal in his veins, I can tell you that. Very determined character. And if I was a betting man, I'd certainly be going for him. Yes, but let's not take anything away from Jason Cross. He too's had some very good matches here in the UWA. It is, it's gonna be evenly matched. What a shoulder block there. Jason Cross goes down there. Oh! Clothesline right over the top rope and out onto the arena floor. Well, it looks as though Kerry's got a fight on his hands here. Early doors. This match is very fast paced from the offset here. Jason, I think they've both hurt themselves a little bit there. And don't forget as well today, Mr. Bridlington, what we've got to look Come forward on. to. We are going to hear from the Death Squad after they lost their tag team titles last week here on UWA Wrestling Rampage to Jody Flash and Big Papa T. What? Oh, counter two there, but let's not forget, we are going to also hear from the number one contender for the UWA title, who is the Highlander, Drew McDonald. And Steve, earlier on, I have seen the anarchist Doug Williams, he is in the building, he won't give any interviews, he's not giving anything away, but he is about. That's just because he doesn't want to talk to you. And also, Steve, we have the big one. Phil Powers, the flyer Phil Powers, takes on defending his UWA TV title in what could be his biggest match, his toughest match. He faces Hot Stuff Stevie Knight. As we can see here, Steve, Kerry Cabrera really working on Jason Cross's leg. Jason seems to be in one heck of a lot of pain here. Kerry can be very mean when he wants to be, and he can inflict a lot of pain onto his opponent. I mean, I don't know about you, Steve, but I've seen somewhat of an attitude change in Kerry Cabrero since fighting one of his toughest matches, the Triple Trouble match. What do you think? No doubt about it, he was sensational in that match, as was Stevie Knight, who we're going to see in action later. As you said, going up against Phil Powers. Stevie Knight, let me tell you, he's so hot at the moment, he is going to be the new TV title holder here for the UWA. And of course, the anarchist who was just magnificent in that. All three of them were just superb. Yes, but let's not forget, the anarchist has to put on the line that UWA title against the man, Steve Linsky's main man, the Highlander, Drew McDonald. Huge slap there by Kerry Cabrero. And another one. Dear me, those this shots. This is cruel. Those, this is cruel. Those shots, Steve, could be heard all around this arena. Just incredible. Ducks the clothesline. Ducks the back. Huge high cross body block there. One, two, no, and he kicks out at two. And again, Kerry on the offense, keeps Jason down, picking him up again. Now working on that back. Dear me, Kerry Cabrero is being relentless on his onslaught to Jason Cross. 
You know, I hate it when you get excited because you spit your bread and dripping and black pudding everywhere. Why don't you ever enjoy some southern delicacies? What southern delicacies? I don't know. But here we go. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh yeah! That's gonna hurt! Cross your legs, springboard, that beautiful back elbow there. I'm sure we're going to take another look at that. That was just absolutely, no, wait a second. Kerry going to the top. Beautiful high block body off the top rope there. Absolutely incredible. Look at this, look at this. He's just taking a leisurely job around the ring now. Look at the sheer arrogance Let's Look of at the those man. against him. Beautiful springboard there. Knocks Jason Flight and a high cross body block off the top rope. Look at the altitude on that. I cannot believe it. And Jason now on the outside. What is happening? Kerry's taking it to the outside. I don't believe it. Just rams his head into the steel railings there. It's just incredible. What a matchup, Steve. What a matchup. And the arrogance there. What an attitude change in Kerry Cabrero. Sets him up here for what could be a suplex. But he's not covering him, Steve. He's not covering him. Knee drop to the head. But why doesn't Kerry cover him? Why doesn't Kerry cover him? Look, he knows better than you what to do. He's the one in there fighting. Jason taking one heck of a beating in this matchup. I don't know how much more of this he can take. Sends him into the ropes. Close. Did you hear the impact of that clothesline? Kerry's going to have to put him one, out of his misery. Two. Oh. oh. He just kicked out. Yeah, Kerry, I have to agree. That was nearly a free count. Come on. The referee there. Counts to and he's working on that knee again. Kerry relentlessly working on that leg. No. He's going for a single leg, Boston. No. Will, Ke no. Will he? No, no. no Jason no. is not going to give up that easily. Not a chance. And Kerry just walks around the ring. Looks at, look at this. What arrogance. What arrogance from Kerry Cabrero. And I suppose you're loving this, aren't you, Steve? He's got a tremendous amount of belief about him. He's showbiz, baby. The audience love him. He loves them. He wants to put on a bit of a show. He doesn't want to just go in there and get an easy victory, which quite simply is what he could do. Well, Northern Light suplex coming up. We have one, two. Oh, just kicked out there. See, you can't take anything away from Jason Cross. You think he might be down. Oh, driver. But he doesn't go for the cover. No, going to the top. Moonsault, yes, and he connects, oh. come on, count, one, two, and again, Kerry kicks out at the two count, this is an unbelievable matchup, it's going one way, and it goes the other, oh, come on, Jason, Kerry is not going down, what is it going to take, flatliner, flatliner, one, two, three, it's over, Kerry, just finish him off. Make sure he won't get up. Let's have another look at that flatliner. Absolutely superb stuff. There's a one. And that's how Kerry two. seals his victory. The flatliner Kerry Cabrero showing that he's very much a force to be reckoned with here in the UWA and still to come right here on this program. We'll talk to the Highlander Drew McDonald about his upcoming UWA title match against the anarchist Doug Williams. Plus, the TV title is on the line when Fly and Phil Powers defends against Hot Stuff Stevie Knight. But up next, it's tag team action. Shayna Murphy versus Too Far Gone. I'm gonna shine. Lovely, lovely. In my bag, Agony. Tonight at 7.30, only on live TV. Call on free phone now to get this booklet, The A to Z Guide to Better Sleep. It's published by the non-profit Better Sleep Council of America. And if you have trouble sleeping or relaxing at night, 
We'd like to post you a copy free. You'll also receive full details about Craftmatic adjustable beds. So to find out how to get a great night's sleep, call our free phone right now. We'll post you both of these booklets free. Call free. 0800-597-5597. That's 0800-597-5597. Want a low-cost loan at your convenience? Whatever you want eight hundred to fifteen thousand pounds for, call Lombard Direct on 0800 to 15,000. Our rates reflect your circumstances, and our typical APR is just eleven point nine percent. I've just got us a great deal on a loan for an unsecured personal loan of eight hundred to fifteen thousand pounds. Just call Lombard Direct now on 0800 to fifteen thousand. With the money she saved on her car insurance from Norwich Union Direct, Jenny treated herself to a day at the health club. With the money they saved on their car insurance from Norwich Union Direct, the Johnsons enjoyed a day out at a theme park. Steve also saved money by insuring with Norwich Union Direct. But he still enjoys the benefits of excellent protection and a friendly service. For car insurance premiums that could put a smile on your face, call Norwich Union Direct on 0800 828 859. That's 0800 828 859. Take a fun look into your future with the help of the tarot cards. Call 08962626201 and let the cards help guide you in all aspects of your life. If you're more interested in your love life, call 08962626202 for a relationship reading. Or why not consult the stars to find out just who is your ideal astrological partner? Call now on 08962626203. Tonight at 8. Is Joanna a thief? It's absolute silly rubbish, really. Lie detector. Tonight at 8. Welcome back to Rampage, where the tag team division has been turned upside down of late. A couple of weeks ago, the Death Squad claimed there was no competition for them in the UWA and attacked Jody Flash and his tag team partner for no particular reason whatsoever. The Iron Duke and the Hammer Mark Myers rode down to ringside on a customized bike and after breaking up the match, invaded the ring. The Death Squad went on to use Flash and Castano as little more than gym apparatus. When they finally grew tired of their game, Iron Duke Lynch made his motives a little more clear. This match was boring. I'm born, he's born, to disrupt enough opponents in the Ultimate Wrestling Alliance that are big enough for any match for the next one. I am sick and tired of absolutely no competition whatsoever. I'll be going when I'm ready to go. We demand more matches and more viable matches, bigger lads than these two, and better than the first two we have. Then we'll be back to do some more work. Jody Flash wouldn't take it lying down, and later on he made an unannounced appearance. The normally flamboyant Jody was understandably subdued. No smiles, no backflips, just a microphone and some stern words for Duke Lynch and the hammer, Mark Myers. All right, listen up. That's why. You want to play with big, bad bullies? You want to be up on people hard on sides? Well, let me tell you something. Grab this up right now, because I'm going to tell you how it is. I've got another. Tag team partner. And he's in the dressing room. And he's bigger than you, and he's better than you, and he's so many of it to get a piece of you. Didn't you? One, two, three, ten world titles, and we. And that's just the way it is. Thank you, and good night. Well, Jody delivered his message, and sure enough, the Death Squad rose to the bait. The Iron Duke and Mad Mark Myers accepted the challenge, but no one knew who Jody's tag team partner would be. No one, that is, except Jody Flash himself. Well, last week, 
we found out that it was none other than Big Papa T. A timely intervention from the masked man allowed Jody Flash to make the pin and gave us new tag team champions Jody Flash and Big Papa T. Well, the Death Squad, of course, are outraged. They're standing by right now. We're going to hear some choice words from the Iron Duke and the Hammer Mark Myers, who, if possible, are even more aggressive than usual. The worst thing about this is the way that they've done it. Fair enough, Jody Flash. Fair enough, Papa T. A bit of a surprise when he came to the ring to start with. Yeah, not just a little bit. Way. It's the way that he did it. I know. I know. I can't believe how lucky that little upstart is. Jody you Flash. Never done it. You're listening. I am going to rip you in two. They would have never done it if it hadn't been for the way that Papa T came to the ring. Nobody does the death squad like that, and nobody's going to do it again. It's very rare the death squad lose, and it's the last time it loses. And whenever we go back in the ring, we're going to be killing the entire population of the Ultimate Wrestling Alliance and everyone else that cares to come between us. We are going to make an example. Funny? We're going to make an example of everybody that steps in our way to get those belts back. Well, the humiliation of losing those customised tag team belts is obviously felt all too keenly by the death squad, and UWA officials are apparently adding insult to injury, because neither the Iron Duke nor Mark Myers have been told when they'll get a rematch and when they'll get a chance to reclaim the tag team titles. What we do know, however, is that Jody Flash and Big Papa T will defend the tag team titles right here next week against the winners of this next matchup. Shane and Murphy take on Too Far Gone. And coming to the ring first, and in an attempt to get a shot to the UWA tag team champions, the four hundred pound team of two far gone. Well, you join us here for hot tag team action. Coming to the ring now, it's too far gone, and they're getting ready to face the unusual combination of Shane and Murphy. Unusual is not the word. Bizarre. It's like chalk and cheese, wouldn't you say, Steve? I would say so. I would say so. But, but let's more say... importantly, if I may inter interrupt you there, Mr. Bridlington, have another bite on uh, your uh, black uh, sausage there or whatever, black pudding and your dripping sandwiches and whatever sort of Yorkshire fare you feast yourself upon. The winners of this get a shot at the tag team title. It's all or nothing. And in the same way, eventually left the title for themselves of the 469 pound force of Shane and Murphy. And there we see Alex Shane there doing what he usually does, posing. And Leon Murphy in the ring, he's a no-nonsense kind of guy, Steve. Well, well, Shane and Murphy are here in sunny old Blackpool. But myself and Leon are here for completely different reasons. You see, Leon's here for pain and I'm here for pleasure. And right now it's all your present pleasure to have the greatest body in God's green earth standing right here in front of you. So I suggest you sit down, shut up, and give me some goddamn respect. He's got a valid point, I think you'd have to say, Mr. Brillington. I think he's got a very valid point there, and it needed to be said. He's not getting the respect that he deserves. But I don't think he's earning the respect. I honestly don't think he's earning the respect. Here's a guy who comes, poses, you know, this guy's... He doesn't pose, just flamboyant. Flamboyant. Except you don't like that. Hey, I'm all for it, but what I'm saying is, this guy just comes in. Your says, idea of flamboyance is an indoor privy. That's as much as you know. So don't sit there and preach and lecture about that man there. Well, I'll say he's a poser. I know he's a poser. Taking it to Paul Tyrrell there. Ducks the clothesline. Baseball slide. Again, ducking the clothesline. Beautiful arm drag there. And a drop toe hold. 
That, now that slapped the smile off his face, can you not say? And he he's got to get himself Murphy. back up. He's got to get himself back in there because, as I said, there is a lot at stake here. Double baseball slide. Double play. What a beautiful move there. Beautiful over the top there, body block. The winners will get a shot at the tag team title, which is held unbelievably and somewhat sensationally by Jody Flash and Big Papa G, who stripped the death squad of their homemade belts last week here on UWA Wrestling Rampage. And of course, we heard from the death squad earlier and they did not appear to be too happy at all but mind you if i was surrounded by the tiny girls i think i'd have a smile on my face oh, there. now that's not going to do his womanizing any good is it that's his mother's pride shot but watch this i don't believe it went for the move there and leon murphy just straddled him and again smacking the back of the head of Steve Morocco. And I think things are turning in the favor for Shane and Murphy. Picks him up, huge slam there. And a leg drop over the top. And what's this? Beautiful move. And they're still coming. Beautiful they're leg drop off the top. The punishment here. But he's not covering him. Look at this, he's posing. He's looking at women at ringside. He's too busy posing. He could have covered when, when him. Else? He's a very busy man. When else does he get to look at women? Where is he going? He's What's happening here? Hold on. Who the heck's this guy? Look at the size of this guy. Look at him. Oh, what the? Have you seen? Look at the size of those biceps. Look at the. What a smack! Smacks him in the face. That is disgraceful. But it's why isn't someone? Ejecting that man from the arena. That's it. What's happened? The less we see of that in the game, the better. That was an absolute disgrace. And it has meant that Too Far Gone have won by a countdown. And Shane and Murphy only have themselves to play. Alex Sane let down once again by his arrogance, picking a fight with absolutely the wrong member of the audience. So next week, it's Jody Flash and Big Papa T defending the tag team titles against Too Far Gone. Back to tonight, however, and we're about to get a word with Drew McDonald, the official number one contender for the UWA title after defeating Danny Royal last week. He's Steve Linsky's secret weapon, and he's heading down to ringside where he's going to talk about his upcoming match against the anarchist Doug Williams with Paul Martin. Well, here we are. Here comes Steve Linsky with his new main man, the Highlander, Drew McDonald. What a guy. Well, apparently he loves animals, very kind to his mum, and is an all-round wholesome bloke. But look at him, you won't believe it. That's, that's what I mean, he's a very kind and considerate sort of chap there, as you may have picked up from him saying he's never seen so many fat and ugly kids in one place. So. Dear me, what is this guy thinking of? He comes here and he just lays into the crowd. I mean, he can only get his attitude from that man there, Steve Linsky. Well, no, I would disagree with him there. I think he's got a very jovial persona, actually. I think he's a okay, lot of fun to um, be around. And a perfect dinner party guest. Says here, uh, Steve Linsky, and Dog, you are but a step away from your achievement, or potential achievement. Where does it go from here? Right now! 
Well, if that ain't laying down the gauntlet to the anarchist, where is the anarchist? Here he goes. Here he is. He's here. He's never won the Ducker Challenge. But this is some Look challenge. At this. Steve Linsky is getting in a few digs which I think he deserves to do after the way the anarchist treated him here a few weeks ago. But he just stomped his head. The head that, I'll tell you this, Stevie Morgan, had to be stapled after the triple trouble match. And this doesn't bode well for the anarchist, Doug Williams. And again, look at this. Look at slaps around the face. <laughs> Give him a couple more, Steve. <laughs> Don't believe this. I mean, here they are. They cheated Danny Royal out of his title shot. They didn't. Danny Royal didn't have to fight Drew McDonald if he didn't want to. And look at this. They're annihilating the anarchist here. Absolutely annihilating him. But we've got to tell you this. This match will be at the Blackpool Ice Arena. They're absolutely annihilating him. The anarchist is in deep, deep trouble. It's his own stupid mistake for running into the ring. What did he think he was doing? This is justice. And the anarchist in real trouble. Hi, this is Paul Martin with this week's UWA Wrestling Rampage update. The summer tour of Blackpool Ice Arena is now on, running for four consecutive Sundays from July 18 through to August 8th. UWA heavyweight champion, the anarchist Doug Williams, will be defending his title against the man who stripped the official challenger mantle away from Danny Royal in last week's Wrestling Rampage. That is Steve Linsky's monster, the Highlander Drew McDonald. Also, having now lost their self-proclaimed tag team titles to Jody Flash and Big Papa T, the Death Squad will arrive in Blackpool more fired up and significantly more dangerous than ever. The other title on the line in Blackpool is the UWA TV Championships, currently held by Flying Phil Powers, but on the line in tonight's show when he defends against Hot Stuff Stevie Nye. To be at any one of the four Sunday Summer Tour events, including a last chance to be there on the 18th, call the Blackpool Ice Arena ticket hotline on 01253 341 707. And don't forget that for the latest news, views and behind the scenes info on all that's happening within the UWA, call the UWA Premium Rate Information Line on 0660 020 009. I'll be back with another update next week. Our sizzling summer of soccer starts with Scottish treble winners Glasgow Rangers versus Premiership new boy Sunderland. It's a football feast, Thursday at 8. Have you been injured in any type of accident that wasn't your fault? Then you may be entitled to compensation. Our specialist lawyers have won financial settlements for thousands of accident victims so they can afford to put their lives back together much more easily. And if you don't win, you don't pay. So you've nothing to lose. Call the Accident Compensation Helpline on free phone 0800 10 1000. Replace your old front windows with superb new Cold Shield windows and right now you'll get all your back windows absolutely free. The Cold Shield name means long-established reliability and full British standard double glazing, fitted by expert engineers in top-quality grade one made-to-measure frames. For a free survey and price for your front windows, with all your back windows completely free, call Cold Shield now on free phone 0500 400 600. OneTel has new rates for cheap national and international calls. Right now, to register 3p a minute to USA, 5p a minute to Australia, 6p to New Zealand, OneTel's lowest rates ever. Plus great low rates to Italy, Greece, Hong Kong, Japan, Singapore, Canada, Germany. Phone the world, it's easy. Just dial 1878, then the phone number you wish to call. Call OneTel now to register. 0800 092 9788. That's 0800 092 9788. You tell your friends about OneTel. Talk to exciting new people in the phone bar now. Call 09066144166 and join up to 210 callers online now. That's 09066144166. 
Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, get yourself down to the house party and talk live one to one with the coolest guests around. Come on in and join us on 09066140150. You know it makes sense. The traditional mortgage process has it viewed your finances in a blinkered way. You may have CCJs or arrears. Perhaps you failed a credit score, or you simply have difficulty proving all your income. Well, for a broader view, call the Regency Mortgage Corporation free on 0800 298 9988 and see how we can help. Yeah, we've got all your details in the system. That shouldn't be a problem at all. Regency, only a call away. 0800 298 9988. Our mortal journey weaves a perilous path. If an angel were to release us from this life, what pleasures would we indulge in? Yeah, let me pop your coke. What secrets would we tell? I fall in love again. Would we take time to settle old scores? Don't deny it, mate. Dare we stand up to our darkest demons? Lid on. You right in there? Oh, boy, nauseous. No tomorrow. Today and every weekday on live TV. Welcome back to Rampage. In just two weeks' time, the anarchist Doug Williams will defend his UWA title against the Highlander Drew McDonald. Before the break, however, it looked like we were going to see that match then and there, when an interview turned into a brawl. During the course of that brawl, of course, the anarchist had that head injury from the Triple Trouble match reopened. Uh, we will try and get more information and keep you updated on the anarchist condition. We don't know how that injury will affect his upcoming match against Drew McDonald. Also, during the break, we saw Danny Royal come out. Here we see him taking it to Drew McDonald. They certainly have a score to settle. And I think it's safe to say that the situation here in the UWA is volatile, to say the least. Right now, however, we have a TV title match on our hands. Phil Powers is nothing if not a fighting champion. We saw him defeat Mike Roberts a couple of weeks ago. And we also saw him defeat Christopher Daniels at the end of the 10-man gauntlet match to claim that title in the first place. His opponent is none other than Hot Stuff Stevie Knight. We've seen also in the 10 men that Stevie Knight is a ruthless competitor. We saw him really take it to the Anarchist and Kerry Cabrero in the Triple Trouble match a few weeks ago. So as we head to ringside, we are expecting an awesome TV title contest. And the challenger, making his first UWA TV title challenge, the Yorkshire Jiggle, Foster Stevie Hot stuff, Stevie Knight. He's set to take on the UWA's TV champion, flying Phil Powers. And I'm telling you, he will, he will be the new UWA TV title champ. Well, Look at the confidence about him. Look, come on, man. He's a fellow Yorkshireman. How, I tell you what, as a Yorkshireman, how come you don't look anything like that? You don't see him gorging himself on black pudding. Well, all I can say is... And leave that whip it alone. Let's get back to the match, because here he comes. It's the UWA TV champion, Flying Phil Powers. And he's trying to run around pounds of high-flying wrestling superstardom, Doreen. They are not waiting for anything. The ring announcer wants to get his butt out of the ring, doesn't he? Well, if he didn't get out there quick, he was going to be caught up in that action. Oh, what's happening here? Straight out there, over the top. Phil Powers, flying start there. And Steve just walking around ringside there, having a breather. <laughs> you tell him, Stevie! You tell him! I think Look at that so. awful bunch of saddos there in the front. They don't appreciate quality when they see it. But he's just playing to the crowd. He should be getting in there. He's just playing to the crowd. He's like, that's a man answering his critics. And he will answer his critics in this fight when he is crowned the new TV champ. 
Hey, I'm taking nothing away from Hot Stuff Stevie Knight. But what, what I will say is, you are looking at a man there who has defended it against Mike Roberts, a huge man. This guy has defended his title, and Steve Knight is just another title defense. Phil Powers will give it 110%. Well, he's going to need to. But it, you can't seriously be telling me that Phil Powers is going into this contest thinking it's just another title defense. You've seen the quality of this wrestler in the Triple Trouble match. This is not going to be an easy fight for Powers, and he knows it. And we saw last week with uh, Stevie Knight, every move he did, every move he made was for Phil Powers in his contest last week. But just look at the action here. Look at the mat work here. This is typical, brilliant technical mat wrestling. You don't often see this, but this is going to be one of those matches where we mix brilliant technical wrestling with high-flying brawling. Beautiful suplex there. Phil's taking it to Stevie Knight. And he drags him up again. Ooh. He wants to finish this quickly, but I think he's gonna have one heck of a fight on his hands. Phil taking to the top rope. He's so at home on that top rope. Beautiful dive there. Sends Steve crashing to the mat. And a count, one, two, oh! Kicked out at the two count there. And I think we're gonna take another look at that move. Beautiful move off the top rope there. Here we go, slow motion catches Steve with all of his body weight there. Oh, two, oh, a two count there. Stevie Knight, Stevie Knight complaining to Tiger McGuigan there, but that should have been a three. But this Ooh. fight is going one way, then the other. Wait, what's happened there? The pad has come down. Has somebody taken the pad off? Again, the referee's distracted not looking at what's going on and a slap round the face there. and another one look on a slap back beautiful there still not taking anything that's all powers can do fight like a girl suplex onto the ropes splash down there come on phil cover him cover him he's not covering him i don't know what's going through his head and he's going for another high flying maneuver here beautiful frog splash one two Ooh, that was so close, Steve. So close. Oh, a kick to the midsection there, and I think Stevie's turning it around here. Sends him into the corner. Beautiful. There's power a bit slam. of aggression around One, Stevie two. Knight now, and that was so nearly a three count. This match is going back and forth, back and forth. You just cannot take your eyes off the action at the moment. If you blink, you're gonna miss something. I'm trying to blink all the time because I'm trying to miss you spitting out your uh, pot roast sandwich or whatever you're eating at the moment. Well, let's get it's back disgusting. to this action. Let's get back to this action. Stevie Knight. Why do you bring your food up here? Stevie Knight slowing Phil Powers down using skills, mat skills. And is that Whippet toilet train? Slowing Phil Powers down, picks him up for the slam. Goes back, beautiful leg drop there. Cover, one, two, and again, we're seeing these so many close And Stevie Knight like, knows he's been cheated there by the ref. He knows that should have been a three count. That is not enough to put away the flyer, Phil Powers. He did not become, oh, over the top. Beautiful there. He lured Steve into a false sense of security. Played possum and Stevie Knight has just paid for it. Beautiful through the rope dive there, knocks Steve into the railings. But Phil, you've got to get him back in that ring. You cannot win the title outside of the ring. You must get it by pinfall or submission. And again, we see Phil on the top rope. Beautiful sunset flip. He can't, no, yes. punch to the face. Now he distracted, he distracted Tiger McGuigan there. Who did? Well, Stevie Knight did. He told him to go and look, and then he punched Phil in the face. Absolutely. Are you watching the same fight as I am? Well, I think we are. Pump handle suplex coming up. Sometimes, no, you know. No, he's... 
really worry about you, but there's no doubt about it. This contest has got legs. There's more to come after this. Lovely, lovely. In my Agony in 15 minutes only on live TV. OneTel has new rates for cheap national and international calls. Right now to register 3p a minute to USA, 5p a minute to Australia, 6p to New Zealand. OneTel's lowest rates ever. Plus great low rates to Italy, Greece, Hong Kong, Japan, Singapore, Canada, Germany. Phone the world, it's easy. Just dial 1878, then the phone number you wish to call. Call OneTel now to register. 0800 092 9788. That's 0800 092 9788. You tell your friends about OneTel. Welcome to Britain's greatest online sports site. If it's sport and it's happening now, you'll see it here first. The latest news, the fastest results, the best reports. All the action as it happens on your screen. One million hits and over 100,000 page views every day. For all the current form and latest insider info, read Britain's best sporting paper before it appears on the stands. If it's sport, if it's live, it's sporting life. Want to buy a quality car but having problems getting credit? Motor Finance Direct are here to help. All you need is a current UK driving licence, two recent wage slips and a phone at home. And Motor Finance Direct will do the rest. So don't be turned down for car finance again. Just free phone 0800 052 1000. Whatever your past credit problems, our staff will understand. Plus get a free Nokia mobile phone with free connection to Vodafone. Motor Finance Direct gets you back on the road. Take a fun look into your future with the help of the tarot cards. Call 08962 626201 and let the cards help guide you in all aspects of your life. If you're more interested in your love life, call 08962 626202 for a relationship reading. Or why not consult the stars to find out just who is your ideal astrological partner? Call now on 08962 626203. Live TV brings you a sizzling summer of soccer with exclusive action from the English and Scottish Premierships. In a testimonial match for Ian Ferguson, Scottish treble winners Glasgow Rangers take on the upwardly mobile Sunderland. Can the Premiership new boys contain the effervescent Rangers? And we're off to Goodison Park to see Everton versus the resurgent Manchester City in a thrilling North West derby. The sizzling summer of soccer, only on Live TV. Welcome back fans and huge power bomb there by Stevie Knight. This match is going back and forth, back and forth. But Steve, I've just heard the anarchist with that busted head refuse treatment. Don't know what's going on there, but I think he's in a bit of a bad way. Well, first blood has been drawn Ooh. there between him and Drew McDonald. And we haven't seen the last of those two wrestlers. But as I say, back to this match, because this is the big UWA TV Championship match on the line here. Phil Powers defending against Hot Stuff, Stevie Knight. Steve, we're having one heck of a match here. It's going back and forth. What do you think is going to happen here? Whoa, high cross body block. Two, again, two counts. We're seeing two counts. Back and forth, back and forth. Back to back here. One. Two, and again a kick out at two. We see some hot action here. One, two, fisherman suplex there again. Kicked out at the count of two. This match is going so back and forth, it's unbelievable. Phil taking Stevie Knight to the mat again. One, two, and again. Oh. Well, what you've got to remember, and you can never rule Stevie Knight out because he is ruthless as a wrestler. Maybe slightly devious, some would say. You can never rule him out. And yes, I do think eventually Phil Powers can be broken down. And maybe this is the long overdue butt kicking that Powers has been asking for. I mean, we're seeing two guys here fighting each other putting their bodies on the line 
but we're seeing an awful lot of beautiful mat work, proper wrestling, which is good to see in a match of this caliber. And again, one, two, oh, oh. two count again. Beautiful, and both guys to the outside now. Both guys to the outside now, and what's happening here? Stevie. Oh Mark. yes, that'll bring a few tears to his oh. eyes. That'll bring a few tears to his eyes, although I actually wonder if there's anything there to injure. Steve, I don't believe it. Honestly, such, such dirty play there. Oh, and punches to the midsection there. You, should stick, to, you should stick to your pigeon racing. Oh, look at this. Beautiful there. Flips over onto the top rope there. We're going to see something big here. And he <laughs> dropped it. To oh, yes. The referee. What is Knight. Bill Powers doing? Assaulting a referee like that! That man is a disgrace to the sport! Steve he Morgan! He should be kicked out now! Steve Morgan! I want justice! Steve Morgan, you are not calling the match as it goes. Stevie Knight purposefully pushed Tiger McGuigan into the path Phil of flying Powers, Powers. Assaulted the oh referee! Oh my god, I don't believe this! Wow. We have a chair! A chair is in the ring! What the heck is going to happen here? No! Maybe and here comes Kerry Cabrero! Kerry! 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 Yes! Kerry! Kerry! Yes! 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 Because we're seeing some sportsmanship here. Kerry coming to the ring, telling Stevie Knight that's not the way to act. Brilliant! Come on, Kerry! He shouldn't interfere! He just knows what's gonna. What? Yes! That's more like it! What on earth? That's that? more like it! This is disgusting! That's sportsmanship! That sportsmanship at its this, best. This is disgusting. No, no, this is not. He's won. There no. he is. What a miscarriage of justice. This is not right. <laughs> not a chance. This cannot be allowed to Stevie go through. Stevie Knight is the new UWA television champion. And for what Phil Powers did to the referee, he should never enter a wrestling ring again in his career. This is disgusting. This could not be allowed to go for. And here comes Paul Sloan. Yes, here he comes clearing the ring. What does Baldy want now? He's come to see how his mentor is. This Phil Powers. Well, the new allegiance in the UWA, the champion and the man I have the most respect for in the entire world. Absolutely, it's great to see two wonderful characters together like that. A well-deserved champ. The referee has ruled a no contest. Yes, no, no contest. contest. This is exactly what happened. Stevie Knight, no way should he have got that UWA title. And the referee's decision, a no contest. This is a sham. This is a sham and a pantomime. This is not a sham. This is. This is I'm not the a sham. You are not be a champion. I now be a champion now. I'm the champion. Turn the music off now. Turn the music off now. I am the champion of the world. Referee! Referee! I don't know what match you was watching. I know me and this man are an item and I'm the champion of the world. I don't care what you say. Champion! Well, all I can say here, Steve Morgan, is I'm the only reason, no the only contest. reason that champion of the world. Tiger McGuigan counted the three count was because he was bullied and pushed into it. No, he wasn't! He counted the three count because he got the victory that he deserved! Let's see this again. Let's see this again. Tiger McGuigan pushed into the path of a drop kick from Powers Phil Powers. Powers aimed his kick at the referee. Oh, and that's what you get if you attack referees. The UWA. There must be discipline in the UWA. I appreciate the discipline from you. There needs to be discipline and justice, and I haven't seen any of it here today.
Well, Stevie Knight obviously feels that he was robbed and has apparently formed some kind of new alliance with Kerry Cabrero. I'm not sure if Phil Powers knows exactly what happened. Still reeling from that vicious shot to the head with a chair. He has Paul Sloan and the UWA officials to thank for the fact that he still is the UWA television champion. Uh, certainly a score that wants settling there in the very near future. Earlier on, we saw the anarchist Doug Williams have that head injury from the Triple Trouble match reopened at the hands of his UWA title opponent, the Highlander Drew McDonald. We'll certainly keep you updated on that situation in the coming weeks. Please join us next week, however, when Jody Flash and Big Papa T will defend the UWA tag team titles against Too Far Gone. We'll see you then.